Hello and welcome to BCC Tips and Tricks for Virtual Classes. You're taking what is called a hybrid virtual class. What that means is that a hybrid class would meet typically 45 hours a week. However, you're meeting for less time than that in the class. You're actually only meeting for about 14 hours a week, two hours a week on Zoom. So those 30 hours of class time difference need to be made up in some way, and that's made up through assignments through Moodle. So you'll have lots of independent work to be do working on, which is great because it gives you time to work on it when you have time. Virtual means you're not meeting in person, you're not going to be coming to campus, you'll meet on Zoom. BCC email is the main way in which faculty in the college will be contacting you. It's really important that you check your email every day. Um, you can do that on a computer by going to berkshirecc.edu um, and clicking on my BCC. I'll show you that in just a second. Or you can download the Outlook app onto your phone. Um, and this Outlook app, you'll log in in the same way that you would log into any um, Microsoft program. You're going to use your S and student number at berkshirecc.edu and then the same password. That S at berkshirecc.edu and your password will be used for a variety of different things, but specifically for Microsoft, you need to make sure that you have the at berkshirecc.edu attached. We encourage you to check your email daily and that's why downloading the Outlook app onto your phone will really help you to have um, that communication right at your fingertips without having to get onto a computer. This is what the berkshirecc.edu page looks like. And if you see in the red circle, I circled the My BCC in the upper right hand corner. If you were to click on that, it will take you to this page here. There's two ways in which you can log in. You can log in through this My BCC portal, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. It kind of looks like a Moodle page or a web page with a bunch of different boxes. Or you can use the direct links to get into the BCC email, Moodle, and Web Advisor just below. To log into the MyBCC, this is what the page looks like. Um, you'll enter your username and password. You don't need the at bcc.edu on this page, just your S number and then password. Once you're in your MyBCC page, this is what it looks like. Those boxes are able to be moved around so you can shift them um, where you want. I put the BCC links and the student course information right up front so that I can easily click on my email or on Moodle. When you click into Moodle, this is the login page that you'll see. Moodle is our um, version of Blackboard or Canvas if you've been at other colleges or in other learning situations online. Um, this is where the teacher is going to put all your assignments weekly um, and have articles, videos, and resources for you to access. Like I said, you'll have extra work online because you're not going to be spending all that time in the classroom. And so you'll be able to go in, see all the different assignments. You can upload text and pictures and more once you're in Moodle. Um, we highly recommend that you complete all your assignments in Word or another Word um, document kind of thing, and then copy and paste them into Moodle. Moodle can be finicky and can lose some of the text as you're typing. It doesn't auto save as easily. So like I said, try and type it in uh, something like Word and then um, drop it into Moodle. And you can save all your Word, drop Word documents to OneDrive. We'll talk about that in just a second. When you're logging into Moodle, please be aware that it's just your S and your number. You do not need that at berkshirecc.edu. Um, you can see it at the top. It says at Berkshire Community College, and that kind of gives you a clue, like I just need my S number and log in. OneDrive is another Microsoft tool that you have. Because you're at BCC, you have access to all the Microsoft tools, Word, OneDrive, PowerPoint, and so much more. In OneDrive, you store your files in the cloud. Um, you will sign in with your BCC ID and password. Um, and again, it's that S number at berkshirecc.edu plus your password. 
Um, OneDrive is the same as iCloud Drive or Google Drive if you've used either of those. Um, the great thing about saving everything to OneDrive, it helps to separate your personal and your school life or your professional and your school life. So if you use OneDrive at PCC, all of your schoolwork will be in one place all together. Um, it also makes it accessible from any computer. So you can access it from anyone's computer at work. You can access it from your mother's home. You can access it from your own computer. You can access it from your phone if you want. So, um, and it makes, when files are in OneDrive, it makes it really easy to upload into Moodle. There's also a OneDrive app for your phone. Um, and if you download this to your phone, um, you'll be able to see all the different files that you have saved, but even better, it has a camera that you can use to take photos or even to scan items for class. So if you're doing student observations and you want to take some photos of things in the classroom or that student doing that child doing something, you can use the camera in OneDrive and those pictures won't get mixed in with the pictures on your own phone. They'll be in OneDrive in, in itself and won't be mixed in with your cat, your dog, your grandmother, your mother, your child, whatever is in your own personal pictures keeps it separate. Again, keeping that separation between personal life and school life. Um, and it makes uploading really, really easy when you get into Moodle. Instead of emailing yourself a picture or downloading it to your computer and uploading, downloading, uploading, when you take a picture with the camera in OneDrive, it's really just a simple click. And here's what it looks like. Here's how you pick a file when you're in Moodle. So when you're in Moodle and you want to put in um, something into a post or into a document, you just go into File Picker and you click Microsoft OneDrive. You log in again with your S number at berkshirecc.edu and your password, and then you'll be able to go into any folder that you have and easily just click on that and it goes into Moodle. No emailing yourself anything. It's all right there. The beauty of OneDrive. Like we had talked about, you have access to all of the Microsoft Suite. So another one that you can download onto your computer or even onto your phone is Microsoft Word. You can access your Word files on OneDrive um, anywhere, any computer, any phone that you can have access to. You would sign in to Word just like you would do anything else with your S number at berkshirecc.edu and your password. Um, if you download the phone app, you'll be able to um, put your assignments into a Word doc and start your assignments on the go if it's an, in your phone. If you need to do an observation, you can take some observation notes right into your phone in the classroom. Um, and the phone allows you to easily dictate, right, any ideas to get your thinking rolling. We always suggest that if you ever use dictation, that you go back to your computer and edit it on your computer and then submit it to Moodle. You can't really submit to Moodle from a phone, um, and we don't recommend that you use your phone as your primary way of writing. There are other ways to dictate your work as well. Some of us are not haven't been sitting at a computer for 20 years typing away, so um, we may take a little bit longer to type, but you can dictate now um, either in Word online. You can see the version on the left is Word online and there's a little dictate button. Then there's also dictating to Word in like a Mac. You would go under edit and hit start dictation and you can dictate to any um, program on a Windows machine by hitting the Windows H and that will allow the microphone to pick up your voice and to record everything that you say. Um, this dictation can be really easy and useful for getting ideas down, for brainstorming, starting your work, and then always remember to go back and edit what you say. I use my phone as a tool all the time to make sure that I am on time. I am a working mother <laughs> and um, I need repeating alarms. So I set, you know, repeating alarms for my office hours. I suggest that you set repeating alarms for your mentor meetings with Adam for class time. Sometimes we're racing out of work and trying to get in a home and logged into class on time and can easily get sidetracked. So set that alarm to go off five minutes before class so you have time to get in. Um, if you find that you're a procrastinator and you need some help reminders to get to studying, you know, go ahead, sign in for, set, set up an alarm to set some side, some study times. Last but not least, you will have mentoring meetings with Adam Hughes. 
In these meetings, Adam will support you in, you know, any technology struggles you're having, any course content that you don't quite understand or need some clarification on. Um, he can help you take a close look at specific assignments and start, give you some starting ways uh, tools to get started on those. Um, he can also help you with like executive functioning skills like time management, procrastination, stress or anxiety. He is a fantastic listener and um, will tailor each of your meetings to your needs. You can easily set up your first mentoring meeting with Adam um, by going to this tiny URL or by clicking on uh, book a Zoom link with Adam and his signature. You're going to select the first mentor meeting at the top. There's three different meetings to choose from. Pick a day and a time um, and add your details so that he can you know, be sure to get in touch with you and then put, hit, click book when you're done. What that will do is that will register the um, mentoring meeting in the calendar. You'll get a not reminder about the first one and then after that it will come up as a repeating calendar invite. Um, so you can be reminded. Um, anyway, I hope you all have a great end of the semester. I wish you the best. 